All right, guys, so today I'm going to show you how to replace your Moen shower tub uh, water control. And today I have right here, although it's missing some of the packaging, is the Danco trim kit for Moen. So this is a universal kit. Now you can see in this kit, you have a choice of a, a plastic clear control or a uh, like a metal lever. So we're gonna install the metal lever. I think it looks nicer. Now the third, first thing with Moen is you have to determine what kind of control and core you have in your bathroom. So there's two ways to know. First off, if you have screws down here, one screw, two screws, that probably means you have the Moen Troll, okay? That was the earlier version uh, of the Moen water controls for showers. And basically what that let you do is go from cold to hot and also control the speed of the water by pulling the valve out. I'm not gonna show you how to do that. Now the new one is called the Moen Posi Temp. Now what you do with that one, it only spins from cold to hot. It's always the same water pressure. You can't adjust that. So those are the two styles of tub shower controls they sell. Now, once you figure that out, you can figure out what kind of trim set or trim kit you need. This kit will work on both. So let me show you how to install this. So to determine if you have a Moen uh, controller here, you want to remove this center piece right here, unscrew that Phillips head, and you can look on here for clues what kind of brand it is. And I found mine right there. It says Moen. And again, to determine what kind of fixture you have, you can look at these screws. If they've got two screws down here, you have a Moen troll. And if you have a screw up here and screw down here diagonal to each other, you probably have a Moen Posi temp. So next thing you do is remove those screws and you can take uh, this trim kit off. And next thing after that, you pull this off and then you're ready to reinstall your new trim kit. All right, so the first step is finding the right size sleeve for your fitting. This is it right here. Now keep in mind there's two sizes here, so you're gonna select the size that fits over your fixture like that. Now again, this is a universal kit. So here's the trim. You can see they have a gasket around the trim. You don't wanna remove that, but they do have a centerpiece here. Notice my two screw holes are right down there. Here's the centerpiece that came installed with this trim kit. So it means I need to replace this centerpiece right here and replace it with this, which will match up with those screw holes down below and fit right over my, um, my sleeve right there. So that will look good. So let's remove the piece that's included with the kit here. And you can see there's two little tabs. So what I suggest doing is getting a screwdriver and pushing in there. All right, so I just popped out one side and there goes the second side, of course. Now let's get the, the trim kit. Now this piece right here, I'm not gonna have to remove that. That actually should be at the bottom when it's installed. So make sure when you put your new, um, your new adapter in there that it actually will work so that it will, there we go, be downwards when it's installed. You need your two screws like that. That goes over like so, that looks good. And let's find the screws to, oh, sorry. There is one more thing I need to do here. I need to get this gasket that's got a adhesive on the back here. So remove that, get that. See the key? This is called the key, this piece up here. That needs to go up top like that. And then water can't get in there. Do you see how that looks? On this side, you shouldn't see it. And then we'll just slip that right over there. That's nice and snug. Now let's get some screws here. These are gonna be the biggest screws that are included with the bag here. And they should go down below. This may take a little bit of effort to get this to work. Let's see what we can do here. This is always tricky because you gotta kinda line them up. So you can just start one side like that then the other side. And come on. You gotta 
coax it. There we go. And get it in like that. Once you get those started, you can push on the trim kit. Again, make sure your cold's over here, your hot's over here, and this little filler tab is down at the bottom. So far, looking good. You don't want to over tighten these. Nice and snug is okay. Don't go wild. I think if you go wild, you'll end up pulling this center piece through. So just keep that in mind. That looks good. Make sure it's nice and square. All right, that's already a big improvement. Now the next step for me is since this center piece right here is keyed, meaning it's got a flat surface, then it's round, it's got a flat surface. All right guys, so I'm back with you. I apologize about that little break there. It took me a second to figure out that I actually needed this other adapter. This is the gray adapter. Let me tell you what crossed my mind. See, once I have this installed, which again, this is keyed, you want it so that it only goes 180 degrees from cold to hot. Before it was spinning all the way around, which means it would work, but you kind of be lost with it. So this is better because again, you can only spin it from there to there. So from cold all the way over to hot. Now let's install this. So it comes with this little screw right here. It's got thread lock on it. You can see that blue right there. This is Phillips. So let's get ourselves a Phillips head and attach that up here. Okay, that screws in. Okay, now that's nice and tight, feels good. Next, we're gonna get our handle and we're gonna slot our handle onto that. So the last thing we need to do here is we need to find this screw right here. You can see it's actually an Allen screw and it comes with the Allen key, which is convenient. So put it on the key like this again it's got thread lock on it that's the blue go in the bottom of your handle here and try your best to see if you can get that locked in make sure we're doing okay here yep looks good oh uh, yeah there we go that feels good let's try and turn it on Oh, I don't want to get wet. That feels really good. All right, guys, so let me show you what it looks like installed. You can see spinning nice, feels nice and free. Nothing binding up in there. Everything looks kind of straight. If I pull it out, obviously I get water. I'm not gonna do that because I'll get soaked. Here's my hot, here's my cold. That's a, that's a success. So guys, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'll link you to my other main channel if you want to check that out. And for now, best of luck with this project.